Oh, I mean. Getting levels. Making my famous spring cocktail drink for Jimmy, a little Midori, and then a little bit of tequila, and then let me get the secret recipe, you guys. Don't want to forget the secret recipe. A lot of people don't put this in their drinks, but I'm telling you, they're missing out. You get a little bit of Dijon. There we go. All right, Jimmy, have a good show. There you go. Let me see, let me see that. I'll show you the. All right, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we party, baby. Pimp on a blend. Let's go. My grind so refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself why would I make time for you lames? At all costs, cause I'm a boss. I'ma break them all, yeah, gotta break them all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am not Alex Stein because we are getting all the wires connected. He is about to go storm a protest. And yes, I really did take that shot. Okay, see, we've got the video on him. We are confirming the audio as we speak, but he, there is a turning point event. They are trying to protest this because the speaker is a, quote, Zionist. So we're going to ask the people what they think. We're going to ask them, what do they we think? Try it. Let's try it. Like oh, oh, yeah, I'm starting to hear Alex. Okay, good. There's always some weird audio issue, but we're going to ask these protesters, hey, what do you think of Israel? What do you think of Hamas? But most importantly, we're going to ask what they think of O.J. Simpson, who tragically passed away earlier today. Yes, O.J. Simpson. He's most known for brutally murdering Nicole Brown Simpson and uh, Ron, I forget the guys, Ron Withers, Weathers. But yeah, he's mostly known for that. But he was also a great running back. I mean, have you ever seen his highlights? He averaged 143 yards a game. That's pretty incredible. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to get the people's thoughts on that. And, you know, college kids these days, they might, even know, not, ugh, they might not even know who O.J. Simpson is. And that... That makes me sad. That makes me okay. Let's see the chat. They're probably like, what the fuck? Why is Jimmy on chat? Or what the F? Excuse me. I'm not I'm not supposed to curse. I apologize, Alex. Um, but this is gonna be an awesome show. So please don't go away. I so I can hear Alex. Can you hear Alex, George? I can hear him faintly. I don't know if that's going over air or if it's just in my ear. Okay, well, maybe y'all can faintly hear. If you can faint. If you can hear Alex faintly, just say, what's up? I can hear Alex. But for real, this is going to be awesome. thrives in the wild. This is his natural habitat facing protesters. So hopefully we get some viral. Will a girl spit on him? That was probably his best moment when a Penn State girl <laughs> hawked a huge loogie on him. I don't know if anyone remembers that moment. The look on Alex's face when that girl spit on him was the most joy any human being has had. Because most people you get spit on, oh, Alex is calling. Let's, let's, uh, let's let him speak. All right, Alex, I'm putting you on speaker on the mic. Is that, is that, okay. It's the live view, so just call me on the Zoom. Send me the Zoom link. We'll just okay. Skype. So we're, we have this Skype up, that's what they said. Do you have my audio from Skype? Yeah. I... Yeah, we do. Okay. 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 Zoom to zoom on the other okay. Okay, got it. All right. Well, see, this is how the sausage is made. Sometimes random things 
just don't work. And you know, all every time it's my fault, but um, so I'm sending Alex to the Zoom link, and that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, what I was saying is when that girl spit on Alex, hawked that huge loogie, most people would be upset if someone hawked a huge loogie on them, but Alex was so happy because he knew in that moment he would be on Tucker Carlson the next day because that is his most viral video. That video went more viral than AOC Big Booty Latino. A lot of people don't know that, fun fact. Oh, oh, we got him on Skype. We got him on Skype. We got him track. Okay, I think we're almost there. I know what is happening. I know. So long story short, so Alex, what's up? Oh, it's off. Yeah, yeah, it's off. Um, yep. So basically, Alex's headphones when they got there just stopped working. So we are looking for other ways to get it going. But seriously, stay on because this is gonna be epic. This is gonna be insane. It won't just be me talking. I know this is horrible. All the chat rats like to be mean to me, and a lot of times I deserve it because I mess up as a producer. But today, today will not be that day. Today, we're going to have an epic show, okay? Because I'm trying to think of Alex's most viral moments. The last time he went to a Palestine protest, it was actually like borderline terrifying because those weren't just like annoying college kids. Those looked like uh, early Hamas recruits. Yeah, we can hear you, Alex. Let me just turn up. All right. We're almost there, almost there. See, this is how the sausage is made. People are like, oh, we just magically appears. No, we have to, sometimes things break and we have to figure it out on the fly. But yes, so Alex's last time he went to the Palestine event, he just said, I'm gays for Palestine, gays for Palestine. So I'm sure that will be brought up because here's the thing, the people who want to protect the gay and trans rights so much also love Palestine and it makes no sense. And that's why, if I were in Congress, I would sponsor a bill. Anyone who is in the student group Gays for Palestine gets a free trip to Gaza. Free trip, tourism. It's crazy. And, and you know something else that's interesting? When the Ukraine war broke out, all the Hollywood celebrities and just random leftist people would go to Ukraine for like celebrity paparazzi shots. It was almost like a clout thing. I ain't seen one celebrity go to Gaza Strip, okay? I would actually respect Ben Stiller if he also went to Gaza Strip after Ukraine. Oh, Alex said there was a lot of celebrities in the Gaza Strip. So I'm probably wrong again. But I think we're almost there. Stay attention. We got this. Caught this. We're going to land this plane, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to land this. And as you can see, ooh, that angle, you can still see I have some of the blonde hair left. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, use the Skype camera. There we go. We're live here. Switch this one. You got that. Okay, now we should be good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're live from the University of Texas at Arlington, here to talk to these young students. Their minds are being brainwashed into thinking false narratives. A lot of people are spending tons of money for an education that will probably not help them out in the end. It's not going to guarantee them any jobs. It's not going to guarantee them any financial success. As a matter of fact, it's going to put them into debt. So this is the youth of our nation. I'm here to help the youth of nation. So come over here. Let's see if we can go to talk to these women. Ladies, did you hear the bad news? OJ, OJ Simpson passed away. But you guys are young. Do you all even know who OJ Simpson is? And apparently he went to trial for murdering his ex-wife. Was he guilty or innocent? I personally feel like he is guilty. Wow, guilty, but he I still needs a recipe. What I do you think? think? I think he's guilty, but I don't like how we quit to deem a black man guilty. So, but I do think he's guilty, though. So, yeah. <laughs> Look, they're being honest. I love it. Okay, so guys, you know there's some... Oh, she thinks she's not guilty? Okay, what? Okay, she loves it. If the glove don't fit, she must acquit, right? If the glove doesn't fit, he must acquit. See, I love it. You know, in every group, we're always going to have one person that disagrees with the group. So you're kind of the black swan of the group. And that's not a racial thing. I'm just saying you're disagreeing with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to be like that. No, 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 no. That's but, okay, so tell me this, though. Do you all know there's supposed to be big protests here? Uh, you know, they're protesting, a bunch of Palestinian right. protesters. They're about the Gaza conflict stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I was in one of them. 
You were in one of the protests? <laughs> well, you were, I saw you at the BLM rally. You, you burned down that auto zone with me, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. No, I'm kidding. I, I, we did burn down a lot of stuff. I was at the BLM rallies. I threw a bunch. I stormed the Capitol, too. I was there on January 6th. Oh, wow. You know what? Hey, you got to do what you got to do. I know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What? You don't want to storm the Capitol? You no. look like you would storm the Capitol. <laughs> Come on. She looks like a Capitol stormer. <laughs> I think she kind of does. Honestly, she does. She no, has, yeah. The real talk is how I feel. I feel like everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but something about going with guns and all that stuff to the Capitol, that's craziness. That so, is crazy. Yeah, that's not but crazy. what about, you know, they say there's a lot of undercover FBI agents who are the ones that had the guns and stuff. You ever heard that conspiracy? No, but Loki, I only believe it when I see actual proof. And until well, I see proof, but I, I, no, that, that makes sense, sense though, because was, they, it, during the BLM movements, they would put, like, bricks and stuff yeah. so they could, like... Yeah, that's crazy. That's what they say. They call them agent provocateurs. So it's like, even though people are there to protest peacefully, you have a couple people that are like undercover and then they throw some bricks. Like, exactly right. So yeah. look, these young women are smart. This is the youth of America here. I'm happy you guys got half a brain. I'm worried though. Wait, wait. What? Wait, what's this for? Wait, yeah. Is this, is this because we're live. The people on the Blue Book Project 99. Yo, we, we got thousands of people. What? What is it? No, it's because y'all are women. That's why y'all aren't smart. It's not getting nothing to do with y'all's race. Who says I'm a girl? Wait, is this a cooking school? Who says I'm a woman? Are you not a woman? You don't know. Girl, I can. I know. No, I know. I know. I know. Listen, I'm not going to be tricked like that. I don't see any Adam's apples. Those are natural. Those are all natural. Those are not made in the laboratory. I know that. What if I don't identify as a woman, though? What do you identify as? I identify as a woman. But what, but what do y'all think about all those transgender swimmers beating all those women? It's ridiculous. They didn't stick to either a woman or female. I mean, a woman or man. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All these he, they, these, she's. Hot the takes. Place. Give us all the hot takes. We want to go viral. Because they want to see what Wait, you're doing. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, going viral. Yeah, I'm, I'm not being ignorant about it. If Whatever you define as, it's you. But I feel like y'all shouldn't, though, so. Yeah. yeah, but should you have to compete against a biological man? Did you play any high school sports? Um, My first two years, yeah. But I'm saying, could you imagine you had to go against a guy like me in a dress? Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> See, these people are smart. I'm my own life. Like, <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I bet y'all believe in God, too. And do. Oh, yeah, and yes, do. they do. That's why. Bible study over there. Get them saying we got Bible study. I love this one. She's all natural. She's not transgender. Now, nothing's wrong with that. I'm just saying she's all woman. Going to Bible study. Do they have a transgender Bible study, you think, here? I don't know, but everyone's welcome. Yeah. I agree. No, that's what I'm saying. I agree. And that's why I think uh, the biggest problem in the world is, honestly, I do mean this, is they want to make everybody think that we are just some sort of evolutionary accident, and that there's oh, no, no creator. It's all Jesus. Exactly it's right. It's all God. There is no... We're talking about the, uh, the solar eclipse. Everyone was talking about it, and I'm like, baby, this came from God. The people don't realize they're thinking, like, Big Bang or Big Bang Theory, whatever the heck Big Bang called. Theory. Oh, yeah. that's Everything so, came um, from I'm nothing. Sorry. It doesn't even make sense. My personal beliefs, I believe that God made this earth. God made all of us, and I'm I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ. And you're a flat earther too, right? Oh, heck no. What? No. Not, no. Not I only flat. date flat earthers. I only date flat earth girls. Uh, you can't date them. What? You think they're... No, I, I said, what if it is flat? Yes, now this is my girl. <laughs> now this is my girl. Wow. <laughs> what if it was? Okay, so you watch some YouTube videos. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not saying I believe it. I'm saying, but what if? What if it is? What if it is? Well, I do believe this. So I do believe God created the Earth, right? It's too much of a perfect system for it to be an accident. Mm -hmm. And even if there was a big bang, who created that big bang? Yeah, God. Yeah. That's what my producer thinks, Jimmy. He's like, the big bang is real, but it was God that did it. I just think God created the Earth in seven days, and that's how He created the beautiful animals, the beautiful people. I just think that's it's God's glory. It's just why it's so yeah. Okay. Um. I love these ladies. Okay, we're going to come bug y'all later. We're going to walk around trying to find some protesters. Wish me luck. Please don't let them stab me. Uh, okay. Please. I don't know why I can do anything wrong. I'm not. I did not say none of the N-words. I mean that. What? What N-word? Just no. You know what it is. What? I'm not going to say that. That would put me in jail. What? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't disagree either. I just want to get their side of the story, really. Okay. Yeah, I like to cover protests. I cover all kinds of protests. I go in the... Guys, I go... You guys support uh, Palestine? Yeah. yeah, I agree that, you know, they probably need some support too, but that October 7th was bad, though. Oh, yeah, but they, um, but also, I... See, two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah, Is that the I thing? I thought it was, uh, not, I'm not super educated. It could have been I don't like to speak on things that I'm not... I want to hear, though. Say it. Educated on, but I heard 
that Israel started first and that Palestine was just responding to the attacks. That's what I first think. I know. You hear different stories. But I don't know. So I don't want to speak on things that I don't know about because I don't want to be speaking out my butt, you know? I'm saying random stuff <laughs> or spreading misinformation. These ladies are too dang smart. Yeah. 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 No, you guys are right. Listen, I'm very empathetic to people that are dying. I don't want any young babies to die. I'm anti-war. I just hate that America is selling guns to Israel and Palestine. We're, yeah. we're selling weapons of both sides. So. We have our own problems. Why the heck are we so worried about I know. Tell them what problems. We what's... got our own problems. I do think that, obviously, I don't. I understand allies, just all this stuff. But when I see people in America that are dealing with a lot of our own stuff and then we're giving away our resources to these other countries, it's just like we have our own. I feel like we've got folks on ourselves right now before we can help anyone else. Yeah, I mean, can you believe what about all the illegal immigrants get a $10,000 gift card to New York City? Would y'all like a $10,000 gift card? I didn't know that. Yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, because in, in, in New York, they're giving them gift cards because this is what the mayor said. It's actually cheaper to give them a gift card because they've been giving them food and they don't like the food they've been giving them. So there's been a lot of food waste. So they said it's better for the economy, which kind of makes sense. It's better for the yeah. economy. But at the same time, wouldn't you like a $10,000 gift card? Wouldn't you like a $10,000 gift card? I don't, I don't see no black people getting no. Exactly no. right. That's what I'm saying. I want to help out young black people, young Latino people, young white people that are struggling. Anybody that's struggling deserves to get a little help in my so mind. Can I get a yeah, I'll give. What's your Venmo? I'm gonna give you ten dollars, ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. You get ten thousand dollars. Y'all take Bitcoin, right? Because I'm gonna do. I'm a Bitcoin scammer. I'll take. I'll take your Bitcoin. Okay. She fell. My. She fell for my scam. She's the smartest one. Okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna come bug y'all later. I'm gonna get scammed. Oh my gosh. You ladies are brilliant. Keep up the good work. Hey, where's the college hall? It's called College Hall. No, no, it's actually called College Hall, I think. Yeah, no, it's called. It's, I swear, it's called College Hall. No, but I'm telling you, you should go to UC. It's, no, it's, it's over there by um, Chipotle and all the black people are in there. All right, all right. I won't use the N word. I promise. I'd never do that. Gosh, why are they trying to label me? My best friend's a black man right here. He'd kill me if I said that. Oh, man. Yeah, it's well, College Hall, room here. 108. Yeah, I don't know where College Hall is. Hey, sir, did you hear about OJ? Are you sad about OJ's death? Did you hear OJ Simpson die? Uh, uh, Any comment? Nah, good. Gosh, no OJ fans. These kids are too young. They don't realize he rushed for 2,000 yards. Yeah, he accidentally murdered his wife and her boyfriend, but he ran for 2,000 yards. I mean, I'd like to see y'all run for 2,000 yards before you start talking. That's what I'm saying. Can we give him a little clout? I mean, damn. Okay, where's College Hall? Hey, we're looking for College Hall. You know what College Hall is? It's called College Hall. It's a building. Huh. Yeah, he just, he just transferred here. Okay. All right, we got to... Let's see, we're looking at the thing. Yeah, we were seeing College Hall on the thing. Now I don't see it anywhere. All right, let's walk over here where she said the people are. Jimmy, can you hear us? Yes, we can. Audio is actually very good. How? Had the audio, was it good on those girls? Could you hear what they were yeah, saying? Yeah, oh, it was perfect. That was funny. <laughs> they were pretty laid back. They were no, they, cool. were, they were actually kind of based. Not going to lie. Yeah, they were a little based. They were talking about all the Leah Thomas and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Well, we're walking here. We're kind of walking blind. Uh we saw a bunch of signs for College Hall, and we walked to where the signs are, but I don't see a building that says College Hall on it. So we'll just keep walking around till we find somebody or something. So I think Dang. the protest is actually inside College Hall, outside room 108. I just reread the poster. So, okay, let's look. Honors College. I'm looking at these. Wait, where is, oh, this is College Hall. Okay. And, and, oh, and it's, it's, a, it's like a bunch of buildings. So okay. look, look for Let's room 108, so probably first floor, and then go from there. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to go in there. And it's a Turning Point USA event. <laughs> Pimp on a blimp. Yo! I think they're, that they're going to come over here and talk to us. Okay, yeah, I see some police, so it looks like we're in the right spot. Here we I go. I see some law enforcement. Is this college hall? Let me see. That's chemistry. Let Maybe let's go in here. Let's ask. <clears throat> oh, this is it. This is it. Hey, officers. Is this where the event is, the turning point event? Right here. Awesome. Okay. This is it. Let's go say hi. Hey. 
Hey, Zach, I'm Alex. Oh, my gosh, Alex. Yeah, Alex. pimp on a blast. Yes. Well, we're all the freaking protesters, Zach. This is the guy who's speaking, Zach. Hey. We're live right now on Blaze. Uh, I thought there'd be a ton of protesters. Nobody protesting yet. Well, I'll talk to Dave. He said they're coming later. So. They, yes, they'll be here later. See, I've been protesting, Zach. You know, I've had my stuff shut yeah. down at Penn State. There's nothing really to be that worried about because there's cops and yeah. stuff. And it's usually just like barking, not much biting. Yeah. But what do you think is going to happen? Do you think anything's going to happen today? I don't know. It could go from absolutely nothing to them trying to, you know, kick the door down. So I'm excited to find out. Wow. And, and listen, I've been to a lot of protests and I'm not trying to make you guys scared. But there's something about the pro-Palestinian protests where, like, they want something to happen. Does that make sense? Like, they're like, like I go to a lot of protests and people go there for, like, the social aspect of it a lot of the times. But I feel like now it's not social. Like, they want to make a stink. You know, they want to do something yeah. – that will create controversy. Well, you know why that is? It's because they hate me for who I am, not for what I think. So they hate me because I'm Jewish. I yeah. doubt any of them know anything about me yeah. before, you know, Dave's with the flyer out. I know. It's, that, just, it's, it's crazy, though, yeah. how mobilized they are. Yeah. Dude, the protests, every weekend there's yeah. a Palestinian protest. Oh, yeah, exactly. We're covering and We've seen doors being smashed and Jewish kids being punched and, you know, them escaping through tunnels so yeah and this is a turning point yeah. event you know i'm a turning point yeah. influencer as well so i speak on yeah. colleges so they they'll attack anybody that's yeah. turning point yeah you know what i mean yeah. like even doesn't even matter so okay well we're gonna we'll leave you guys to get ready we'll yeah. come back when the speech starts we're gonna go talk to some students and stuff okay. nice to meet you zach nice you'll be you safe i promise i know it's a little ner- are you nervous a little though no not at all not at all no because I'll be honest when they say when they protest my event i'm not no. scared but i'm a little anxious a little I am ver- I am on guard, but I'm not nervous. Fearless, guys. This is it. This we love Zach. Okay, we'll be back, Zach. Have a good speech. Hi, yeah. I'm Michelle Wells. Hey, so Michelle. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you I Michelle. I discovered you on YouTube when you were at like the city of Plano. Yes, that, yeah. The dance that you did. Yes, oh, go oh, insane for the Ukraine. Yes, oh my gosh. I shared it with like everybody. Okay, let's take a selfie. Take a selfie okay. and send it to me. I'll yes. follow you back. <laughs> oh my gosh, she was too nice, Michelle. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Let's okay. go. Okay, send me that on Instagram or okay. Twitter. Okay. All right, we'll be back. Well, you, will. you guys will be safe. The Arlington police are the best. They'll, they'll keep you guys safe. Hey, guys. Um, I wonder, are you guys worried about the protesters? Have there been a lot of protesters on campus at UTA? We don't have a lot of protesters. That's what I'm saying. Usually, that's very unusual. We have some small groups that do, but they're, they don't get a lot of numbers. Yeah, you guys will be fine. That's what I'm saying. Usually, a lot of barking, not much biting. You know, you guys will handle it. We're safe hands. Thank you, guys. Um. All right, well, let's go check out the student body. This building's epic, though, this college hall. This campus is a lot nicer, Jimmy, than I expected. What do you think about it? Is it nicer than Princeton? I mean, Princeton is really nice, but that is a that actually is a really I nice campus. I don't know. Does Princeton have benches like this? Uh, the benches. This is you, oak. That's true. You Princeton does not have oak benches. I don't, think, I don't think you guys have good benches like that, no. honestly. I'm not trying to, like, throw shade, but I really don't think you do. Yeah, probably not. Uh well, I'm looking for the protesters, dude. I don't see one protester. I'm going to have to. I see this guy. He's looking like he's a protester. Ooh. Are you here for the protest? Damn it. Why not? Why don't you protest? <laughs> Why? I'm ready for my class. What class? It's evening class, English. So. Is it hard? English level one or which? Uh, it's, it's all right. What's a predicate? The subject before a noun? What's a predicate? I don't even know. <sighs> Jimmy, what's a predicate? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're, we're here. There's supposed to be a bunch of protesters uh, at 7 o'clock, like 6.30 or 7. So be oh, well, head on a swivel. Well, I'm after this class, I'm definitely getting home because I got other things to do. Are you going to smoke any CBD tonight to relax? Not that guy. I love it. This guy's not on drugs. I feel like all these kids are on drugs on college campuses. Do you know anybody that's been uh, addicted to fentanyl? Mm. Because I'm worried the drug overdose deaths are so high. I want to try to tell the young people, you got to stay off the opiates. Well, I typically keep to myself, so I don't have... This guy's smart. Keep to yourself. That's really the best way to do. I love it. This guy's great. Smart guy. Okay. um, Should we steal a golf cart, Jimmy? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We'll just do that. I think think Mm. that'll be good. It's good content. Oh, it's a little sunny. Let me put the shades back on. Ooh. Ooh, is there a pool? I guess we need to go probably in the... I wonder if they have a campus Chick-fil-A. Oh, that'd be awesome. We'll walk in there. 
Yeah, we'll walk in there and get some Christian chicken. Mm -hmm. Uh, But they are now adding antibiotics to the chicken, Jimmy. So that's really going to probably that's probably going to affect you. I'm really bombed. (laughs) You already are vaccinated, Mm -hmm. so that mixing with the vaccine is safe and effective. I'm I'm impotent already. Okay, but not from that. That's just other reasons, right? Is everything safe and effective? Okay, University Center. All right, looks like they have a subway. We'll ask him if Jared works there. Oh, that's a good idea. There you go. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're alive. This is nice. Look, ooh, the bread smells good. Brandon, how good does that bread smell? Fantastic. Gosh, it smells good. Well, let's let's tour the place a little, and then we'll come back. There's a little line right now. Jimmy, how many people are watching right now? Uh, we're about to break a thousand. Okay, good. And then hopefully these Palestinians come out. Of their hiding because we're trying to, we got to get some drama. Hey, where's your Chick fil A? Uh, right there. It's like right around the corner. Oh, thank you. I love that chicken. Christian chicken. So good. Okay. Why were they laughing at my Christian chicken comment? I don't know. Justin, can I get you a chicken sandwich? Yeah, let me get him. We got to get, we got to get security a chicken sandwich real quick. You should recreate Just the Trump safety. speech at Chick fil A. Pimp on a blimp. How you doing, young man? Dude, I thought you were Charlie Kirk. I am Charlie. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Charlie Kirk? Yes. Why do you think I have this crew? Are you actually? Yes, let's take a selfie. What do you mean? What, who do you think I am? You're Charlie Kirk? Yes, Tony Boy USA. Yo, yo. Bro, it's Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk is here. Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk. Yo, yo, yo. Well, what are you going to do about the liberals on campus? What are you well, do? I'm trying to freaking expose them. I'm trying to find yeah. where are the transgender swimmers at? Man, they're hidden. They're hidden. They're like uh, lizard people. Well, okay. lizard people are real, and anyone who thinks they're not. I, and then tell them what yeah. shape of the earth. What's the shape of the earth? Shape of the earth? It's actually uh, it's a cube. You know, tell them. You know. Yeah, it's a cube. This guy's been watching YouTube videos. He knows what shape it is. Bro, hell yeah, man. All right, all right. Real quick, real quick, real quick. What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts on Biden? Yo, yo, Joe Biden is so damn old, sitting in the White House like some mold. He needs to go get a brand new job. I don't really care about his son named Rob. I mean, Hunter Biden, and he's high on crack. I don't really care if you're white or black. That's my black friend. I, I do. Black friend. Wait, my what? bad. No, do you joking. have any black friends? I have one, so I'm not racist. That counts. That's all it takes. Okay, we'll say your name. You want to shout out? Anybody you want to shout out? Oh, uh, yeah. My name's uh, Ben. I like to shout out... Um, my other friend, Ben, he's pretty Your based. Your friend's name is Ben, too? Yeah. We get along just fine. Do you think I what, Do you think Michelle Obama has a wiener, yes or no? Uh, I think that shit got chopped off of a blade. Wow. This guy's based as heck. Okay. Are you going to go? To, you know there's a speaker at 7. Yeah. Seven point event. Are you going to go? At 7? Yeah, go. Or there's going to be a bunch of protests and stuff. They're supposed to be here in the next 10, 15 minutes. Actually, I'm dead serious. Where That's why I'm here at College Hall, right across the whatever. room. I'm actually Charlie Kirk. I'm actually take Charlie Kirk. Yes, box. dude, I'm Charlie. Really? Yes, dude. Take a selfie. How do you not know this? Why do I have a camera crew, dude? I'm obviously Charlie. Like, gosh, dude, it's bugging me that I'm this well known. <laughs> this is yeah, Charlie Kirk. 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 Charlie Mid campus. Well, it's not like a party school, but I mean, really, college. The fraternities here suck. Okay, well, he doesn't like the frat life, but let me tell you something. Yeah. Getting paid or paying money to spank each other is. No, nah, it's not that. It's just like there's good fraternities like Tech and like UT yeah, Austin. I know. They have. And they have the best parties, man. Here it's so lame. They just crack open like a can of Miller Light and like look at each other. I mean, it's like, what the fuck is that? Well, I know, but at least they're not on fentanyl. So what about, do you know any kids that have OD'd? Uh, that have OD'd? Um, me personally, no. But I've been to PGM uh, parties or whatever, and, like, the cops come in. What I don't happens? know what happens. Oh, Are you 21? I, I am 21. Of course. Let me see your fake ID. Fake ID? Do you not believe me, sir? No, dude. I would never lie. Okay, I don't I think lie. he's 21, but you're welcome I to Turning Point uh, any I day. Drink water. Listen, it's Charlie Kirk and, yeah. and Ben making waves, UTA. Okay, I'm going to get my security chicken sandwich. I'll see you at the event. Okay. I'll see you there All shortly. Right. Wait, at 7, right at, at College Hall. It's called College Hall. It's College at, Hall? Yeah, it's a building that has, like, military and, like, firefighters on it. Bro, I, I love your YouTube channel, man. Your TikTok, too. The people, 
They're so stupid. I agree. Some people are dumb. It's crazy. Nice to meet you, Ben. Love you, dude. Alex, you made that guy's nice life. You made his life. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. Wow. <laughs> what do you want, Justin? A spicy chicken? Here, you might as well get in the shot, Justin, with me. This is this is our security, guys. This is my buddy Justin, uh, all the way from Cheaters. Uh, R.I.P. That show is a great show. Yeah, a great show. But I got to feed this man, uh, Jimmy, because if I don't feed him, anything could happen. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I think that's I smart. I want you to be. Is that fair, Jimmy? No, we want, want nuggets, chicken sandwich. You can't have security be hungry. Oh, is this a line? You just can't skip those people behind you. <laughs> yeah, I was already in line before them. I was sitting right here. I don't, I don't know what the proper line is, but we want to support all Christian companies like this. Okay, can I get a, can I get just a number one, just the entree, and then what kind of sauce you want? Let's give a little Polynesian sauce. Your name on the order. And that's it. What? Name on Charlie. The Charlie Kirk. That'd be Thank you. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, we'll just wait over here. Oh, yes, we got the Polynesians. Polynesian! Polynesian! I love these. I, sometimes I just get them like this. Jimmy, I'm one of the only people that ever do, do this. I love this Polynesian sauce so much. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, gosh. Mm. That's delicious. It is? Okay. That's, that's real. No. A real authentic Polynesian sauce. Oh, I, yeah. Straight from the islands of Polynesia. Polynesia, yeah. Isn't that what it's called, Polynesia? Is that the islands area? Yep. That's all those islands in <sighs> the Oceanic region, in the Pacific. Dude, that kid was so that kid was so stoked to meet Charlie Kirk. I know. Like I said, he's gonna tell all his friends and show him the picture, and hopefully, no one else notices. <laughs> well, I hope Charlie doesn't get mad. I mean, he didn't but say I would, anything I would be crazy. Able to well, Charlie, this me. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now nah, Justin, we got to go. Hey, here just just try to convince as many people you're Charlie Kirk. <laughs> yeah, and have we got any super chats or anything yet? No super chats yet. Well, not someone, one super chat. Folks? Someone gave two dollars. Said this is two more dollars than Jimmy deserves. So that's fair. Yeah, you should read that one. Anytime it has to be twenty dollars, but if it's making fun of you, then they can read it too. Uh, okay, I'll here, do that. Here, Justin, let's sit down. We got to have a little chicken sandwich break. Okay, yes, sir. We just put this like this on us. Let's just sit down real quick and see what we can what we can uh, stir up while we're sitting here in the union. Jimmy, what what do they want me to do? They wanted me to talk about OJ Simpson? I mean, they were dying at the Charlie Kirk bit, so maybe we should just do that. But uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think you can you Guys, can create that. Guys, I'm Charlie that. Kirk. If anybody wants an autograph or anything, I'm I'm Charlie. Be over here. Hey, I'm a big time influencer. I have 26,000 followers on TikTok. My TikTok goes off. It does. Except I share a lot of medical misinformation. But that's not, I don't want to get into that. Um, how's that sandwich? Excellent. You're, not gonna, you're just eating it dry. You're, dry, you're just raw dogging it. That's how I like it, man. Raw dogging. Hold on. Get it in there. Jimmy, this man's eating a sandwich with no sauce. That should be illegal. To that, me. That's I a bold you just move. Sauce. I know. I got another sauce. I got another <laughs> sauce. <laughs> I did eat the sauce. So I think I got you a backup sauce. Try a little bit. Of, take a hit of that Polynesian on there, dude. Dude, that Polynesian. Have you not had the Polynesian on there? Man, you know what? I don't really I eat. I like the macaroni and cheese. Well, you should have told me I would have got you macaroni and cheese. But I won't, but I won't, but I won't. Oh, $20 exactly. super okay. chat. $20 super chat. $20 uh, super chat? From Zach is Whack. Like? Jimmy did a great job at the beginning of the show holding the ship together. He's still a fluffer. Make sure to hold hands and pray before eating. I Thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and please, dear Lord, bless this chicken. Amen. Amen. All right. We blessed it. Yeah. Um, but uh, Jimmy, yeah, Justin and I, we worked at Cheaters, dude. We did some wild stuff. Do you remember? Were you working the bus when we walked in and they were butt naked at that hotel in the and they had all the ramen noodles were in the bathtub? Was it that one? That one is nasty. Was and then they had the taser. What yeah. was the craziest bus that you remember? Uh, the craziest bus I remember was, it was a lot of them, man. That one, that one, we did a bus where the the, the dude had a had a gag in his mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, he had yeah. A ball gag in his mouth. That yeah. was wild. 
we had one with a girl at a ball gag too. <laughs> There's a lot we of ball gags. We had one at that, that hotel right there on uh, Harry High. No, I mean, uh, yeah, Empire Central, where the guy was acting like he was a baby. He had, he had a oh, that on, was really weird. And yeah. all the baby powder was in the air. That was crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another so twenty dollars super chat. Been freaking. A $20 super chat. Yeah, Steven Fernandez, $20. For the security fund, we got to make sure Charlie Kirk is kept safe. <laughs> yes, yep. that's for you. Yes, that's good. We got Justin a little bit of cash. Over. Okay, so it's 634. We're about to go walk over there. But like I said, we haven't seen any protesters yet, Jimmy. So let's just wait another. I don't want them to automatically see me. You know, I kind of like, I'd like to them to gather and then we could like talk to them in a group. But, yeah, they uh, don't probably don't like yet. Charlie Kirk. Of, and I was tweeting it out. You would think that they'd have to see that tweet somehow. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just so narcissistic. I think that the Palestinian protesters are following me. But I would think that that. What do you need, a napkin? Damn. Yeah. Where are the napkins at? Just use a bag. I mean, oh my God. Somebody left their Birkenstocks. Oh my gosh. Dude, college is ratchet as hell. Jimmy, do you want these? These look like your size. Is there only one? No, there's two. There's oh, two. there's two. Um, you know, I'm not a big Birk, Birkenstock guy, but maybe Brandon wants them. Let me see if they fit me. Oh, my gosh, they fit. Oh. Brandon, show my foot. Sorry not to be near your chicken sandwich. Should I keep these? I mean. I mean, oh, they're oh, broken. They maybe that's why they got on. left. Yeah, they look a little broken. All right. I'll so, just leave them for this guy. This poor broke college kid probably needs them. <laughs> I know what it's like. Uh, all right. Well, Jimmy, like I said, I don't see any of these protesters. Jay Money's almost done with the chicken sandwich. We'll go out there. Yeah. Dude, he's fed. He's full. He's going to be ready to freaking protect Charlie Kirk. Yeah, I think they want you to go mingle a little bit. Yeah, we're about to. How many people are watching? Um, right now we're at 11.09. We were at 11.50, but I guess Chick-fil-A, they also went to get Chick-fil-A. We lost like 40. Did they? Oh my gosh! Okay, I think I see some protesters. Let's start walking Let's over here. It. Let's see. Now they just look kind of like three weird kids. Well, really just ask about OJ. We want everyone's take about OJ Simpson. Get a get a super cut. Just ask random people. Oh crap! I don't. Yeah, we'll ask random people. Okay. Here, Kristen, hold that real quick. Oh, let's get. Did you guys hear O.J. Simpson died? Are you yeah. sad? How do you feel? How does it make you feel? I have no opinion. He was a Hall of Famer, man. They don't respect football anymore. I thought I heard, I heard somebody say Charlie Kirk. Um, there's an ATM here. Let's see. Oh, there's... Yo, what's up, guys? Are you guys sad? Are you guys sad about O.J. Simpson? Yeah, rest in peace, O.J. Simpson. He didn't do it. 2,000 Russian yards in a 14-game season. That's impressive. <laughs> and he has two murders, dude. He's two hey. murders, not guilty. No, he didn't do it. Yeah, I love it. Goes backwards. You know what's funny? It's a crew of two, or one white guy, like two kind of Hispanic guys, and you guys said he didn't do it. We just yeah. talked to a group of black people. They're like, he's guilty. Isn't that crazy? He hey, justice did system did it right. He probably did do it. <laughs> Nah, like he definitely it. did it, but he's undefeated <laughs> in the courtroom. Yes, he is. Okay, so tell these people we're live right now. What's UTA like? There's supposed to be some protesters, but they're not here. There's a bunch of Palestinian protesters to be here. Uh, so I've heard that they're cracking down. Greg Abbott's trying to crack down on anti-Semitism on campus. Uh, I'm not sure what that what that has to do. I don't know with that. I know that's annoying. I don't like any censorship. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah keep it real. Keep it real. You know, if our governor's all for free speech, and you know he's, you know, you're the <laughs> the right winger to be you know say what you think right but say what you think until it's against until the it's about that's israel that's yeah <laughs> but hey but let, let's be real both sides you know have stuff we could probably be critical about you know but uh, but this is the thing is these protesters i go to a lot of these protests the palestinian ones are the wildest like they get there i've been to blm ones i've been to uh, transgender you know rallies those are actually pretty nice they're pretty cool but the palestinian ones i get to you guys they want they it's want a, all the a, smoke. Yeah, it's yeah. a pressing issue. Yeah. Especially here. Yeah. And these are young men. How old are y'all? I'm 18. Look at this. Young men, based young kids. I love you. You guys give hope to the future. Anything you want to tell the people before you go? Free Palestine. They're, they're pro-Palestinian. Look at this guy. Okay, you guys come to the protest. Okay, all right. Well, um, 
you know, Jimmy, that's pretty. That was a pretty based answer. What would you think about that? No, I thought they were good. These, I actually like the college kids here so far. They seem yeah. not brainwashed. I know. Oh, I think that's the protesters. Let's see. Oh, I think this is him. Oh my gosh, let's talk to him. Are you guys here protesting? We're trying to talk to the protesters. I'm Charlie Kirk. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What? You guys don't like me? Why not? Why not? I'm not interested in doing it. But you're here protesting. You obviously have a message you want to get across. Yeah, and I'm not interested. I'm not interested in getting it across to you. Well, I mean, you're in a public place protesting, so you're obviously making a point. You just don't want to make the point to me. Uh, yeah. Basically. So you only protest for your friends. You don't protest for the people that you're trying to bring awareness to your I protest topic. For the people who I'm trying to who I'm trying to bring awareness to, not for the people. Yeah. Who so, protest, so how would not doing an interview against. get you more awareness? Uh, I'm just not interested, man. I'm just not. I'm just not interested. I'm you're not breaking interested my in heart, going, dude. I'm I work so hard. On, I'm not interested in going on social media either for this. So. You don't have social media? No, I do have social media. Well, that's just hypocritical. Inter- you're already on social what media. What I'm saying is, I'm not interested in going in going on your social media. I'm not interested in doing an interview. Well, but tell me this. I, I'm literally just trying to find answers. Like, I'm not here trying to like, you know, I guess change your mind or anything. I'm just here to find out what you guys are protesting. Because I see you guys are pro Palestinian. Are you guys even Palestinian? You're not Palestinian. I'm telling you that I'm declining an interview. That's my answer. Oh my gosh! You got anything you want to say to the people on the internet? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean, Jimmy? They're doing hand signals now. What does that mean? Oh my god, he's doing the hand signal. Oh my god, they're turning around. Look, he's laughing. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is that a throat slit? Please, I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god, please. Please don't do anything to me. What does that mean? This is pretty bad, though. Guys, there's only four protesters here. There's only three, and this guy's hiding. Pimp on a blimp, Charlie Kirk here, trying to talk to the youth of America. But this is a pretty sad protest, right? Just us. Look at this. This isn't even that good of a sign. Uh, can you please put that what does it say? Papers? I'm trying to hold it. That is, that's, yeah, that's papers. I'm trying to help you hold the sign. Can I do anything to help you? Do you hate me? You're not taking interviews. This is our property. This is our what? This is our property right here. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to hold the sign. Can I use this? Can I use this? No. No. Free okay. Palestine. So that's so free that's, Palestine. So that's okay. Can so, we can we free Palestine? So that so that so that's actually against campus regulations right there. Is that uh, using amplified sound without? without well, then why would you bring it? If if it's against campus regulations, why would you bring a sound amplifier? Because it looks spooky. <laughs> It's not I, like your I like that answer. I like your honesty. I like that. That's fair. See, dude, you, you seem like a nice guy. I'm not even hating. You guys all seem nice. This guy's scaring the hell out of me. Stop it. We're ready to show this guy. Look at him. He's laughing. Dude, stop it. What does that mean? What does that mean? Th- that's oh my th- gosh. throat slit. Dude, that's a I'm stab. scared. Look, they're doing that. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if we can do that hand signal on YouTube. Stop doing that. That's terms of service. Terms of service. <laughs> Terms of service! What, I'm crazy now? I know what, he doesn't want to talk because he's, you have braces, is that one? I like braces. Hey, I, ask him about OJ. Braces. Ask him about OJ. Oh yeah, what do you guys think about OJ? Was OJ innocent? You guys are sad about OJ? What, stop doing that! Stop doing that! No, I'm not crazy! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I love this kid. Wait, come on, let's hang out. Do you want to go play Call of Duty? But I have a CBD sponsor. Do you want some free CBD? Would that make you happy? One, hey, I'll give we you got a little CBD we, gummy. That'll, hey, do you want to talk about uh, high high. sell Casper to him? We got to do Casper. Oh, yes. You guys want some coffee? You want some Casper? Look at this girl. This girl's cool. I love your makeup. Here, it looks cool. Sell some sell some why? Casper. Wait, why not? Why? I just want to talk. I want to be friends. I don't, I don't want any smoke. You look, that makeup looks fire. Are you a makeup artist? I'm serious. It looks good. I can't compliment you. I like the outfit too. Oh, those are Pumas. I love Pumas. Those are great for Jimmy says Pumas on. Those are incredible for walking. Do you walk a lot in those? Well, Alex, we have to do our Casper ad read. So you have to sell Casper. Okay, guys, 
Are you sick of this faceless corporate ecosystem of coffee selling you a bunch of crap? Well, not anymore, bitches, because you can go to cashbrew.com and use promo code PRIMETIME for the most delicious double caffeinated coffee you'll ever have in your life. That's right. For a limited time only, all proceeds from the primetime two-time grind coffee is going to go to a cat charity of Tim and I's choice. We're kind of debating which cat charity. That's neither here nor there, but just know that it's going to save a lot of Punani kitty cats, not the sexual thing. I don't want to say the P word on a college campus. What I do want to say is go to cashbrew.com, use promo code PRIMETIME, and save that 10% and tell them I sent you. And the only way they know that I sent you is when you use that promo code. Casper.com. Hey, we've gotten two twenty dollars super chats. Uh, Blake Thomas. Two twenty dollars super chats. Uh, keep up the hard work, Charlie. Shout out to Revenge of the Sis Boys. And then uh, Michael Scott said, "Yo, Charlie, you mad good at guzzling that sauce." I got my toes curling. This is the widest. Uh, this is the widest Palestinian protest. So, what do you think about abs and Adakinian? But how do they treat homosexuals? Uh, <laughs> how do they treat homosexuals? Abs and Adakinian. Why not? Ask him about I love OJ. your vibe. Look at the earrings. Uh, absolutely not talking. Those to you. are the cutest earrings I've ever seen. Uh, absolutely not talking to you right now. Why? Why? Free Palestine. I love that. They love Free Palestine. Palestine. Are they? Do they have good gay rights in Palestine? Free Palestine. Why? Why? Why is? Free Palestine. Do they have pride parades in Palestine? Why Free Palestine. Are having pride parades take away from a real negative situation. I'm not happening. saying it does. Free I'm not Palestine. saying it does. I'm just saying, how do how do they Palestine. treat gay people in Palestine? I'm saying that doesn't matter when you have a horrible thing. It doesn't thing matter if you get thrown right off there. a roof. That doesn't justify genocide. No, I agree. I don't think it does justify genocide. Yeah. So why why you're bringing in a different argument that you feel but like you need you back say, to try to invalidate? But no, 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 no. no. What do you think about Hamas? Would you say that October seventh was bad? Uh, October seventh. I'm just saying. Hamas is not good. You like? Are you pro Hamas? No. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm not. I'm. I care about the Palestinians too. I don't want young Palestinian children mm-hmm. to die. I mean that. Mm-hmm. But also, Hamas is a terrorist organization that probably got in power through a fake election. You know. So it's kind of. But it doesn't justify carpet bombing a nation. I. Like, I'm anti-war. I agree. I'm anti-war. I don't want to. I hate bombs. And yeah. Amer- and America is giving money to Israel and Palestine. Yeah, and I don't like the American government doing either of that. So really, we got to get let's get mad at America because I'm serious. Let's get mad at the people in power who perpetuate a system like that, whether it be the Israeli or American government or Hamas. If you have people that are in positions of power that are actively contributing towards a negative um, power ecosystem and like (laughs) pushing forward a horrible system that's going on, we should not be. We should not be endorsing that, regardless of who it is. Look, you make some good points. I'm not even here to disagree with you. I'm just trying to get people's side of their story. They said there's going to be a protest. You're, not. you're being antagonistic. I am, mean, because you guys are not making good content. I'm trying to make good content, too. i got to freaking stir it up. we got to make some good content. Well, I'm here with cameras and a microphone. Make, make, making good content at the expense of that's angering that's people, that's not good content. That's well, just being antagonistic. You're protesting, so you're antagonizing. I just walked hey, out of here. Well, nice. Wouldn't you say a protest is uh, you know, group antagonization? No. A protest is group solidarity. There what are I'm antagonistic there, protests, that's what I'm but saying. that's not. Inherent. I know. Let's be intellectually honest. I go to a lot of protests. And I'm just saying, saying you're equating certain protests what? and applying that as a universal rule instead of observing the protest in and of itself. There are different forms of protest. Well, this isn't much of a protest. Look at this protest. This is the weakest protest we've ever seen. Look at this guy. What, come on. What are you doing at this protest? You should be playing Call of Duty or something fun, right? You don't like Call of Duty? Not really. What video game do you like? Nah. You game. You have gamer elbows. Come on. Are you ashamed to game? What, what What's his game? thoughts on OJ Simpson? What do you think about OJ Simpson passing away? 2,000 yards? One season? No respect? Look at this. Boycott genocide. Yes, Take us. I'm the main person in this damn protest. Guys, I'm trying to give y'all some clout. I'm trying to get your message out. I'm not even trying to disagree. I just want to hear what you have to say. I do. This guy is the coolest guy here. He's got the cool earrings. Uh, those earrings are pretty badass. I can't deny that. I think my wife's boyfriend has the same earrings. <laughs> He's Palestinian as well. Trust me. Me and Destiny, we went on a freaking four-day trip, and I just sat in the corner the whole time while she had a blast. <laughs> Palestine. What do you think about Hamas? Is Hamas good or bad? Free Palestine. Look, oh my God, this guy's in robot mode. He's in, can you say anything? 
Free Palestine. Look at these. I can make him say Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Nick, how easy. He just says it. He's like a robot. Free Palestine. No, I love it. It's like, you know how there's people, their uh, fire, their smoke detector always chirps? How do you feel about what's happening in Palestine? In Gaza? Yeah, well, you guys, is this a silent protest? Is this a silent I'm protest? I'm giving you a sound bite. Why not? You guys are here. You have a message. Oh, like, just say something. Don't you want me to bring attention to your cause? Why not? I'm not gonna be talking to you. Free Palestine. Oh my God, this guy is shaking. There's nothing to be scared about. Yeah, free Palestine. Be... We're just here having Why? fun. We're partying. Look at this kid's cool. Okay, come on. You guys should argue. Get in his face and argue with him. Let's see two guys debate. Why don't you guys? I'm not even a student. Debate. A student. Make sure they you know you're say, Charlie. Stand Kirk. next to him. Hey, this is how we do it. Just stand next to him. Yeah. Now, you guys should debate. So, he's pro-Palestine. Tell yeah. him how you feel. I'm not giving you a soundbite. I'm not giving you a soundbite, but I'll send out here with a flag to get attention. Great. Exactly. Free Palestine. See, it's not Why? me. Now you have one of your peers. Why? Talk to Give me, okay. Peers. All right. I'll, I'm open. Why? Why Free Palestine? I'm not giving you a soundbite. See, but see, okay. You won't answer why. That's so the problem with the woke here? left. They can't answer right? a question. Why? What are you out here? You a I'm not giving you a soundbite. I'm not bad faith. How is that a bad faith question? Asking him what he's doing here. Exactly. Like, seriously, how? I want to know. How is that bad faith? We're trying to ask him a question. Right. Dude, they're sitting here in the middle of the road with a huge sign. I can't ask him why they're holding a big sign. Every time, exactly. Every time you come at them, it has been antagonistic. And then instead of okay, actually. Okay, I'm sorry. About, Guys, I want to apologize. I'm sorry. if I I'm not you. sorry. Well, he's not sorry. I'm sorry if I seem antagonistic. Is there any way we can have a not discussion like about why you're you? All right. Okay, take, well, you talk to me then. Take the mic for that. Why not? Why not? Why not? You guys don't want to join? So you just want to sit here and hold a sign, but not actually have a dialogue? Hey, Alex, Alex, take the Absolutely mic for that kid. This guy. He's still, he's talking is that, to you. Okay. It's being distracted. Is that how we solve issues? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. He's just the same thing over and over. Yeah. Look at this guy. He has a Ukraine shirt. Oh, my gosh. What do you think about all the money laundering that's going on there? Are you recording me? Yeah. <clears throat> money laundering? Yeah, I'm an auditor. There's no money laundering that's of any substance. So what, there. What about Hunter Biden being the chief of Burisma? Are you for the Palestinian protest yes, or are I'm you here. a right winger? No, are you kidding? Right winger? What the hell? Do I look like Charlie Kirk or something? No uh -huh. way. I'm here because, listen, I want to give more money to Ukraine. I want to give him 20 more billion. But stupid Mike Johnson won't put the bill uh, on the floor. Why won't he do that? Because of Trump. Trump told him. Trump's no. not the president, though. I know that's what's ironic that Trump is running the House of Representatives. Do you think Joe Biden's making decisions? So you don't think he's a puppet at all? Uh, yeah, he makes decisions, even though he's basically senile. Uh, <clears throat> he has. He's he's an old man who acts slowly, but maybe cautiously. He has trouble walking up the stairs. He, he has that little uh, that little funny step that uh, comes with age. Trump has a belly, comes with age. No, it's true. But Trump does get with hot chicks. What? He gets with hot chicks. I don't think so. What? Yeah, right. You're kidding. You don't think Melania is hot? <clears throat> I don't think she can stand him. Well, but she's hot. I don't know if she can stand him or not, but she's hot. Well, there's a lot of women who marry rich guys, right? Well, point Look of my she way. Got. She got it. The fast track to citizenship. She got her parents citizens. Rest on, in peace, on, Melania's mother. On a weird uh, uh, basis. <clears throat> well, what about you? Think that's bad that she got citizenship. What about all the illegal Venezuelans coming? Do they deserve citizenship more than her? Why should I compare the two? Well, you're talking about uh, immigration. I mean, you don't think they're similar at all. You're well, mad yeah, that she got a green that, card. The only thing that you're not mad that maybe millions of <coughs> illegal immigrants are coming across the border. No, I don't draw any. That's a false equivalency. So how is that a false equivalency? Well, you're talking about a large. You basically, said that she was doing immigration of fraud versus one person, and you're trying to say are they equivalent? That's obviously a. Well, a I false know. I would narrative. say that it's much worse that. Millions of people are coming across the border than a family getting a green card or a visa, <coughs> wouldn't you say? So I'm saying you're kind of being hypocritical for getting mad at her about that, but not caring about the border crisis. Um, you kind of changed the subject. I changed a lot of stuff. You got to be quick. So. You pimp on a blunt. <laughs> Do you live here in Arlington? Yeah. 
seem like a nice guy. I like this guy. He's a good guy. So what's in that backpack? Do you, are you a student? I am. Yeah, that's good. Some, uh, what are you <clears> studying? Information systems. Yeah, it'll 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 uh it'll, it'll allow me to uh, overcome the bias we have in this culture against old people. We do. It's ageist. I know. I'm not even kidding you on that. I do think ageism. But you know, it's funny. As much like, as I say that, though, I still don't want an 81 year old prison. 80 Biden. 81 year old Biden. So <laughs> I'm saying, I'm ageist to that. He's running the country. He should deserve to be. You know, and honestly, you know, if, if Donald Trump said he I doesn't want, run the country any more than uh, the president of the university runs UTA. I that's mean, a good comparison. It's, that's it's a. There's there's multiple resources that that one leader draws upon that one leader is a, a not a figurehead not a puppet but calls the shots but not in a vacuum not like uh well, are you happy with china's the, are you, president are you happy with the job that president biden's done well he's he's got results he can show like uh, what the uh well the infrastructure bill is a good one did you uh, see that bridge francis key scott bridge yeah what about it well, it's that like, wasn't what, very. 80, it's eighty years old. No, that wasn't very good infrastructure, right there, was it? it wasn't very good infrastructure. Yeah, well, I mean bridges. I don't remember in your whole life have there ever been bridges just collapsing, like you know, a house well, of cards. No, that one did not just collapse; it got knocked down. But there are bridges that fall so, apart. So Biden's best thing is infrastructure. Yeah, we've had the biggest bridge collapse in probably our hundred year history. So I think we, hey, got, we got, got five minutes to uh, replace it. Yeah, and it's it's not that the Bay of uh, or Chesapeake Bay is a very important hub anymore for for uh, commerce. So it's uh, boring. Kind of say something crazy. <laughs> say something good. Say something good. What about the pipeline? Yeah. What do you think of that pipeline? Who blew it up? <laughs> it'd be so like you know pro environment. I mean that happens. They don't even cover it. I mean it's like obvious that was like us that did that. Oh, you think? They say it's not. And it's just like ignorance. Is it? Yeah, he's saying, I think like, ignorance. Come here, come here, come here and argue on camera. Come on, camera. Said, you guys should I argue. Think, I think Joe Biden at a conference. First of all, that guy was lost. Okay, he woke up from nap time, but he said on camera that he was going to take care of the pipeline. And the media asked him, like, "Well, what do you mean by that?" And he walked away. And then, like, you know, a week later, or I think it was like a few weeks later, the pipeline blows up. Nord Stream so, pipeline, so, one of like the biggest ones, and like all the oil so, and gas so, in the ocean. Qui bono, qui bono. Who benefits? Oh my Who gosh! Benefits? The U.S. They benefit. Oh. Hey, Twenty dollars super chat. We have to give them chat. more money, dude. You yeah, yeah. know that. We, gotta... we have to give the Europeans more money. We're selling them gas. Robbie says, "Yeah, we're know. selling our reserves." You know how many resources we're giving the Ukraine? Why should you and I, our taxpayers, oh, go to Ukrainian? No, no, no. The pensions. gas pipeline goes to Germany. It uh, ask go him to if the world Ukraine. is flat. As a matter of fact, there's, okay. there's a gas pipeline. You know that Germany. funny stuff Ukraine. is going on. You know funny stuff's going on. Yeah. No, the question is: Is it the Russians, the Ukrainians, the Americans, or some uh, third part, third party rogue? group that's sympathetic with boring all right let's get over here the show's almost over all right come on guys hey push blaze tv subs before we go just bring we got oh. a monday oh, show this is monday free show. speech and expression i like this this is probably why the kids are so cool here yeah. we got a free speech and expression thing so that's pretty legit okay let's go to the protest and, and right, everyone sign it. up for the monday There's show Sign up for the Monday There's show. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Free eight protests. Free, free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Pimp on a blimp. Always eating shrimp. Palestine on your mind all the time. I am am Alex Stein. Always on the grind all the time. From the river to the sea, you can touch my pussy. I will be free. No, they won't. Probably not. Guys, this has been a good show. There's eight protesters here. It's kind of boring. They're, most of them aren't even Palestinian. We know what you're working for. Occupation, endless war. Occupation, endless war. Why, guys? We know what you're working for. We know what you're working for. She's reading off her phone. She's got it on the phone. How can you not remember that? Who's campus? Our campus. Who's campus? Our campus. Who's campus? Our campus. Our campus.
Sports Bar Time 99, Pimp on a Blimp. Greg, this has been latest this. executive order presents a potential of a patently false definition of anti-Semitism. He hides behind what he deems to be anti-Semitic in an effort to silence criticism. They're shaking. Israel. They're shaking. Abbott is a scumbag for conflating okay. Jewish existence with a Zionist cause. A cause rooted in colonialism and the expulsion of Palestinians Boo. from their native Boo. land. Boo. His Boo. All right, all right, Alex. <laughs> against the Zionist state. All right. What is all right, this, is, this place is boring as heck. All right, let's come over here. All right, Jimmy, how was that? How, did we get any more Super Chats we need to read? Um, I don't know if you heard me. I said Charlie Kirk asked him if the world is round or flat, the old guy. But you were in a heated debate. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, it's okay. Well, that was, that was still a lot of fun. Um, make sure, guys, to join. Go to blazetv.com slash primetime. The promo code is for a limited time only. So just like the Shamrock Shake, just like your favorite fast food option that's only for a limited time only, this code for 99 cents month subscription to the Blaze will go away. So act now. Act fast. Keep us employed so we can go to more of these protests. And I guess before we leave, I'll do a freestyle finale. Was that not the freestyle finale? Boo. I guess that was a freestyle finale. All right. Yeah, just say goodbye. All right, guys. See y'all. Have a good one. All right, guys. Primetime 99. Pimp on a blip saying peace and good night.